Members during the debate led by the House leader Roland Asoro emphasized that the bill, when passed, will increase the fortunes of small and medium-scale businesses, create jobs and curb corruption among government officials. The amendment bill received the support of other members who added that when passed, will create avenues to revamp moribund companies in the state. The bill, when amended, will help to rejuvenate already redundant enterprises in the state. And you know when these enterprises are privatized or commercialized, it will enhance efficiency and effectiveness of such enterprise. I, I rise to support my honorable colleagues from the level two when we deliberated or listed some uh, importance or advantages of uh, these two concepts. At the time when we are yearning for jobs, creativity, an alternative to the oil industry, which we are solely dependent on now. This is the way to go. The speaker, Mr. Francis Okie, who aligned with the position of members, said the bill has a lot of merits, among which is the promotion of an investment-friendly atmosphere. He directed the clerk of the House to accord the bill a second reading and thereafter committed the bill to the House Standing Committee on Finance and Economic Planning to submit its report within one week. Also at plenary, the Commissioner for Infrastructure, John Inebedion, briefed members on the state of the Benin Central Park at Obakawai Street and steps taken by the state government to ameliorate its conditions. The commissioner said he has visited the park and briefed the governor who promptly mobilized contractors to the park. To deal with the issue and also provide some palliative for the operation of those operating there, we have gotten one of our contractors to quickly come in this morning and start fixing the place. However, that is not what we are desirous of doing at that location. The state government have put up a plan and already designed a modern motor park that will be fit that location. The Speaker, Mr. Francis Okie, who decried the negative economic implications and hardship members of the public are subjected to due to the deplorable state of the park, however commended the state government for its plan to commence palliative work at the park. The speaker also reminded members of the 64th Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Conference holding in Kampala, Uganda from 22nd to 29th September 2019, expected to bring together over 500 parliamentarians, parliamentary staff and decision makers for networking opportunities. He urged participants to utilize gains of the conference to enhance their legislative duties. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.